hello guys welcome back to the channel so in the yesterday's video we saw how to send z clocks using file beats uh, to elk so what we'll be doing is today let's use elastic agents uh, to send the same z data to elastic search so first i'll go to sudo sudo let's check the status of elastic search in kibana so we can see both both are running so i'll access the kibana dashboard so i'll go to the management section uh, and click on fleet So once the fleet page uh, loads, so we can see we have to set expect.security.auth.api key enabled to true. We have already set the expect.security enabled to true. Uh, let's add this line in the elasticsearch.yaml file. So I'll clear it out. So nano slash etc slash elasticsearch. Yes, elastic search dot yml uh, let's go to the end of the file after expect dot security dot enable let's add this line exit let's restart the elastic search So once Elasticsearch restarts, just reload the page, uh, wait till the Kibana page loads. Go to the fleet settings. We need to change the Elastic host, uh, Elastic IP, Elasticsearch IP to 192.168. 68.11 which is our ubuntu ip and let's save and apply the settings so over here what we'll be doing is let's give http uh, let's just apply the ubuntu ip itself 182.168.68.11 and let's specify the port number to be 8220 uh, as specified here feed server uses port 8220 by uh, default uh, let's save the settings so let's go to the downloads page of elastic agent so as the machine is mac i'll download the mac agent uh, you can download this uh, specific agent as per your machine and let's choose the quick, quick start for now and let's supply the feed server host as specified previously to the ubuntu ip 168 68.11 and the port number must be 8220 click on add host uh, now generate a service token once your service token is generated uh, open new tab for the terminal uh, directory where I have downloaded my elastic agent my elastic agent is over here so I'll just act, extract this file I'll go to the directory of elastic agent now I'll just copy this whole command and paste it over here and supply the password Yes. So as we have not enabled any certification SSL or TLS, it is showing the SSL or TLS is been disabled and 
elastic agent has successfully started so let's click on continue uh, now what we'll be doing is let's go to the integration section in the integrations let's just type on zeek let's go to the zeek as we have already added this line in the local dot z uh, no need to add again if you have not added this line in the local dot z file do add it and click on add z clocks so we have deployed elastic agent on default feeds of a policy and just collect z clocks remove all these directories and specify where the z clocks are being stored so for my machine it's slash user slash local slash seek slash logs slash current so before that i'll check the status of zeek ctl sudo zeek ctl So Zeek CTL has stopped, so I'll deploy the Zeek CTL. I'll copy this path. So we can see logs being generated over in the directory. So click on save and continue save and deploy changes so the integration is successful right now so what we will be doing is let's go to the dashboard and change to locks so we can see the logs been porting so let's go down so we can see it's the data the data is coming from agent using feed server and the host name we have the host name also over here so this is how we can send z logs using elastic agent not only z logs we can send any uh, integration based logs using elastic agent so you can check out what all the integrations available for elastic agent and you can send all these logs using elastic agents itself so before that let's go to dashboard if we deploy elastic agent right we will get elastic agent matrices also so suppose i'll choose uh, we can select what are the hosts available so i'll choose this host correct host only one host is available so we can get what is the cpu data and what is the memory usage what is the output throughput and much more data also so that's all for today if you like the video do subscribe thank you